black metal amps. So this really depends on how much money you want to burn and the kind of sound that you want. If you want a thin sound, like the early black metal, black metal releases from the 90s, just go for a Boss Katana and just dial it in the way you want it to. It will do the job. If you want to go for something a bit more modern slash commercial slash better slash a sound to be taken seriously then you really want to go for one of these heads more specifically the angle is probably going to be your best bet that's from these three amps that i have here you can use evh's pvs whatever else you like the general theme is good tube amp heads. The exception to this is the valve state which is a solid state head but it has a valve in the preamp section so it's not entirely a solid state amp. Solid state amps basically means no valves just running off electricity. There's one valve in there going through the preamp so it's not like the kind of coldest sound there is but it is very but it's not the warmest sound either it's just just enough for the kind of late 90s early 2000s kind of black metal sound or death metal sound depending on the kind of thing you want to go for. Um, the more I dive into messing around with amps the more I realize there isn't really a black metal tone it's really just preference plus execution which gives a black metal sound. So that is what I would suggest do try out some of these amp heads if you get the chance and you know just I think it's about time that people stop falling in love with that early 90s thin black metal sound because live it doesn't work, two no one really wants to listen to it on recordings anymore because the quality of studio equipment has improved massively since the 90s so any band that does try to sound old school ends up sounding even worse than the bands that sound old school or were old school so yeah I wouldn't try and go for that dark throw sound anymore I would just go for all the best sound that you can make or the sound that you want in your head I think what you want to pay attention to when checking an amp is how it's voiced because the Black Star is the best amp I've used as an all-round amp for getting like the sounds that I want for my kind of music the Black Star works nicely with my guitars with active pickups and with the guitars of passive pickups, as just gone through earlier, it sounds a hell of a lot better with a tube screw pedal. But I don't want to be messing around with pedals the whole time. I don't. I like to keep my rig very, very simple. So I have boosted my angle. I've put e an EQ pedal through my angle. I've done so much stuff with it. And ultimately, it doesn't make that much of a difference. The only one that has made a difference is that Maxon SC9+. Plus. But, it's too much, it's too heavy. It's fine in your room if you're just recording or whatever, but if you're playing live, it's just going to be too distorted and it's not going to cut through as nicely as the general sound on the angle. So I'm just going to play through the angle, just so you can hear it now that it's back and now that it's fixed, and probably just run my 7-string through it and just riff about so you can kind of hear the difference between an EMG from earlier and a Fishman from now through different equipment so the EMGs with the black star and the fishman with the angle so you can hear like the whole different scope of sound again I'm further elaborating on the amount of combinations that you can build with your tone it's insane <laughs> Thank you.
So, <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, Engel's brilliant. Engel does all the black metal stuff, it does all the death metal stuff, and you don't even need to dial anything differently. You just need to just plug it in, set up a good sound. And the, the another amazing thing about the Engel is that you can just plug in and you're just like, what, two tweaks away from a great sound and you can just do so much because it's so simple and it's so easy to change and it just does everything amazingly for heavy metal. But I would still go with the black stuff for like more old school rock and just like general clean guitar stuff just because it's like that little bit more warmer, it's not as like demonic as this one. For the extreme metal stuff, I'm, I really don't know what can be better than the Engels. Um, for my taste anyway, like I love the Marshalls and it's been a long time since I've tried a JVM, but I think they're very good as well. Um, you can use Kempers, Kempers are fine, dial in a sound with them, a lot of people in the London black metal scene do use Kempers. I think Abbott is using Kempers because there were Kempers when I saw him live. I was asked about amp sims and free plugins. The short answer is I have been using ML Amped Roots, which is which is free. Just some of the videos, like I know the A to Z of black metal, everything from the A to Z of black metal onwards, um, the Dark Throne v Immortal, the Dimmy Ball Gear versus Cradle video. I think most of the sounds came from an Axe FX and the Kajira plugin, so yeah, give those a go. Uh, there's the new Tim Henson Neural DSP plugin, I'm pretty sure you can get some good sounds out of there. Remember, black metal tone is preference and execution. You can still sound black metal with a death metal tone, um, as proven with this angle. Yeah, it's more of a death metal sound than what I go for. It's just because of the way the of like the way black metal is played. That is how you get the black metal tone. It's all in your playing. It's not really much in the gear. It's more in your playing.